meat speak powered by the certified Angus beef brand from the inner sanctum of the world headquarters of premium beef here in Worcester, Ohio. I'm Brian Schaaf. With me, as always, all the way from, we'll say, Tokyo, Jordan in the Middle East, uh, an oil rig in the North Sea, New Orleans chef, Tony Biggs. Hey, Happy doing? New Year. Ha Brian, Happy New Year. Was that too loud on, on the Richter scale? Yeah. Uh, you kept on looking at it. Was that... Anyway, I love you. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New 2020. Year. You know... We're going to rock it this year, Bri? I, uh, yeah, I'm thinking it. You know, I was thinking about throwing my hands in the air like I just don't care, but... Sometimes trends can be just like just that. They're trendy. They're popular, which doesn't always mean that it's like a lasting cuisine or like something that's going to go down as a classic. So what I like to look at is, you know, what are some techniques that are coming out that maybe aren't as well used in with beef or what are something that could complement beef because you don't want to take away from a great steak, right? Like a great steak is always going to be a great steak. Yeah, you can sous vide it, you can grill it, you can broil it. Well, you can put it under salad, man, or get a nice sear. You know, when I'm not a fan of putting it in your home broiler. <laughs> but I, I look at it as maybe it's not always what can I do with beef, but what can I take that's a new cool technique to pair with beef to make that whole dish kind of stand up rather than taking something that's as perfect as like a dry aged strip steak and changing that. Like you don't need yeah. to change that. Yeah. But what other things can I take and make it more of an interesting dish than a dry aged strip with some potatoes and green beans? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like there's, a, there's always a place in my heart for your classic, you know, steakhouse meal. But then again, you know, what has gotten stale in that environment? What can we do that takes that same idea of like a classic steakhouse meal, but you can elevate it, you can change it, and you can make it more trendy, make it new again. It's Terrace Majors. I chilled them completely, and then while they were cold, poured that butter right over them so it kind of encapsulated the Terrace Majors in butter, then put those in a vacuum bag so that as they reheated, they were almost poaching in the butter. So it was kind of a combination of a butter poached sous vide. And then also when you brought it out of that bag, they were already kind of buttery and you could just do a quick flash sear to re to reharden that crust and still have that texture to it. So it was uh, kind of a sear on either end and then a sous vide technique just to keep it real nice and a perfect doneness all the way through. 